Interesting news. Because of Chelsea Davy, Prince Harry's ex-girlfriend, does Meghan Markle feel threatened? Please before we continue, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for updates. Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, reportedly felt threatened by Chelsea Davy, Prince Harry's ex-girlfriend, and reportedly told her to avoid the Duke when he approached her for his upcoming biography spare. The mother of Archie and Lilibet allegedly warned Davy to keep away from my husband, according to a source who spoke with the new idea. According to sources, Harry invited his friends and ex-girlfriends to consult with his ghostwriter about contributing to his biography, which will be published in January of the following year. Before breaking up in 2011, Harry and Davy dated for seven years. Meghan was reportedly rankled when she found out he'd hit up Chelsea, according to the report, which cites a royal source. Everyone knows he probably would have married Chelsea if she hadn't objected to the thought of living a public life, the insider told the publication. Meghan tries to ignore this truth, but the knowledge that they have spoken to one another brings back all of her fears. Harry's plea was politely declined by Davy and Cressida Bonos after they had politely said they would give it some thought. In addition, from 2012 to 2014, Prince Harry dated Cressida Bonos for around two years. While visiting the UK for the Queen's Jubilee, Meghan Markle made a compassionate act that assisted American families. During a newborn formula scarcity, the Duchess of Sussex made it her goal to assist young families. When she visited the UK in June for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, Meghan Markle made a covert donation to support American parents. Parents in the US struggled to feed their children during the severe infant formula scarcity that plagued the country from May to July. However, after speaking with her buddy Tyler Perry, Meghan was resolved to assist. At the annual Baby 2 Baby Gala, which attempts to collect money for underprivileged children, on Saturday night, Mr. Perry spoke to an audience of 800 guests at Los Angeles's Pacific Design Center about the Duchess' generosity. He discussed the global infant formula scarcity and mentioned that an employee had come to him seeking assistance. Mr. Perry sought to find extra formula, as were many shops across the pond, but he had trouble. In her now-defunct blog The Tig, the podcaster and actor described Los Angeles as the holy grail of nutritious food, demonstrating her devotion to eating well. Daniel Martin, a friend of Meghan's who works as a cosmetics artist, told Gail King before Archie and Lilibet were born, I'm sure the baby's going to be raised like, certainly clean and green. Clean and natural for the infant. She enjoys cooking. Consuming organic food wherever possible. In September, the Sussex family returned to the UK once more, but this time it was to take part in Queen Elizabeth's burial, which was a more solemn event. If they will be present to see King Charles' crown next spring is not yet known. On May 6, 2023, which also happens to be Archie's fourth birthday, the incident takes place. In another news, the humbled S asterisk X and the city star is given a coveted award by Queen Camilla. The 74-year-old actor, who was born in Riga, rose to fame in New York's ballet scene in the 1970s. Mikhail Baryshnikov, who portrayed Carrie Bradshaw's love interest Alexander Petrovsky in the HBO series Sex and the City, was handed the Queen Elizabeth II Coronation Award for his contributions to the dance industry by Queen Consort Camilla on Wednesday, leaving him humbled. When Latvia was still a part of the Soviet Union in 1948, Mr. Baryshnikov was born there in Riga. After beginning his ballet studies in 1960 in his hometown, he relocated to Leningrad four years later and joined the Kirov Ballet. But in 1974, while on tour with the Bolshoi Ballet in Toronto, he escaped to Canada and applied for political asylum there. The American Ballet Theatre and the New York City Ballet hired him shortly after he arrived there. I truly don't have the words to express how I feel right now, but perhaps I can try to put my feelings in perspective, he said. Dancing has always been my mentor, my instructor, and my closest friend. It has provided me enormous delight, never made me feel burdened, and never let me down. I feel fortunate to have discovered it, it has been an unspoken conversation with the globe. Thanks for watching till the end.